Reports from rebels inside the city and from state media suggest government forces are close to victory in Homs. These pictures aired on Syrian TV reportedly show pro-Assad forces moving through the neighborhood of El Khaladiya. This has been a stronghold for the rebels in Homs for more than a year, but the government now says the army is in full control here. Syrian state TV also reports the military has retaken the area of El Matahin. Homs, the city, uh, I think, uh, you know, military and a military point of view, uh, it's, it will be taken, you know, it will be over the battle within a few days, maybe one week or two weeks. Uh, we have to remember that we still have 8,000 civilians inside old Hamas, those quarters. But who are fighting there? Different groups from the opposition. There is lack of organization, lack of cooperation, and there is lack of synchronization. The Syrian army has been pushing steadily north in recent weeks. With the help of Hezbollah fighters from Lebanon, it took full control of the city of Qusair in June. It's making gains in Homs in a bid to link the capital Damascus with the heartland of President Assad's minority Alawite sect along the coast. The last major city rebel stronghold is Aleppo. Government tanks roam the streets of Homs hunting targets in some neighborhoods among piles of rubble where buildings once stood. Pro-Assad forces and the army surrounded the city, blocking supply lines for the rebels. Due to the decrease in the numbers of fighters and the many injuries they suffered, in addition to the blockade which was choking old homes for more than a year, where there was no ammunition, no food or medicine, this led to the retreat of our fighters. Activists in Homs say the army is now concentrating on clearing the last rebel targets in the old city. A victory for President Assad's military, his militia and the Hezbollah fighters who support him is looking increasingly inevitable in Homs. A boost in morale for the regime and a major defeat for the rebels and Assad opposition who call this city the capital of the revolution. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.